<laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Parenting Podcast coming to you from Dubuque, Iowa. We want to talk to you today about discipline, about uh, here's where I'm coming from on this. I heard just a while back that this philosophy that's happening in our day, that if someone behaves wrongly, it's the culture's fault. It's society's fault. Yeah totally lifting the responsibility off of the individual and, and, and put it on everybody. And what we've seen, even if it's a job in the church, if everybody's responsible, then nobody's responsible. And so if everybody's responsible for a person's behavior, then nobody's responsible for a person's behavior, including your child. But the Bible clearly tells us that the that tendency to do wrong is in every human being. And in Proverbs chapter 22, verse 15, it says, Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. And foolishness is not the same as not knowing what to do. The Bible says that the fool in his heart has said there is no God. So oh. foolishness in the scriptures is, is knowing what's right and wrong and, and choosing what's wrong. Choosing deliberately way. choosing what's yeah. wrong. At this age group of 6 to 12, for a lot of time, a lot of those years the child adopts the conscience of their parent. Mm -hmm. you know, so they're learning what's right and wrong from you. Mm -hmm. And uh, psychologists would tell us that uh, we want to use behavior modification, which basically is reward them for the good and, and punishment for the evil to get them to change. We want to touch their heart as well. Yeah. And so uh, a lot of people are not advocating spanking. I'm not advocating beating your children. But there is a difference between uh, beating your children and physical discipline, according to the scriptures. And this says the foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction will drive it far from them. The point is, as your children grow, you need to assume responsibility for correcting their behavior. Yeah. And, and, and not, not beating them and by all means not just trying to punish them for doing wrong. Uh, Ephesians 6 verse 4 says that we should bring up our children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. In other words, we raise our children up the way God raises up us, raises us up. And he does that, first of all, speaking to our hearts yeah. with his word. Yeah. If we don't listen, then he backs off a little bit and lets us experience the consequences, the consequences. of our choices. And hopefully that causes us to change our direction. Mm -hmm. So we want to discipline our children. We want to help them learn right and wrong and to do what's right. Mm -hmm. You know, bring up your children. That means to bring them to maturity. And Hebrews chapter 5, the one of the last verses, tells us that maturity is knowing what's right from what's wrong and doing what's right. Mm -hmm. And so we want to help our children get there by disciplining them. Yeah, I remember an incident that happened in our extended family. One of our grandchildren was having a birthday. And so we were all there and, we all, you know, yeah. she, our grandchild had all these presents in front of her and she was opening, you know, one at a time. And she opened one and so her parents said, now you need to say thank you. And she wouldn't say thank you. She got all here I can't I can't and she kind of went through the saying and they said you're not opening another gift until you say thank you and so things like that yeah, I mean it's you. easy to say oh she's tired oh she doesn't have to oh you know I'll just let her off oh it doesn't matter and it's not important it's easy to make excuses for our children's behavior yeah. but if you'll discipline your, ch your child and help them to overcome those Things where like they don't want to, they're a little shy or they're a yeah. little something like that, but they can overcome it. That's right. If you'll help them to overcome that through discipline, wow, be a long way down the road. Yeah, even uh, uh, there's a note in my Spirit Filled Life Study Bible that tells us that even depression is a habit that oh, children wow. that children get into, and that a parent can help them change that behavior mm, instead wow. of making that choice yeah because the reality is for a lot of us where a lot of people are are depressed not clinically not i'm not talking about somebody that has a medical issue yeah. i'm talking about somebody that's making a conscious choice that instead of being joyful in life they're choosing to go to the bottom and, <laughs> and be be gloomy like that so from 6 to 12 uh basically 
uh, you are going to be the key influence in your in your child's life. What about when they come to teenage years and the peers? I think we're going to have to talk about that another time. Oh, we out of time? We are. Okay, see you next have week. Have a blessed day.